Hello and welcome back to our Excel analysis for the labs of January 25th through the 27th for General Business 304. In this fifth video of the series, we'll be taking our price variable, which we know is in thousands of dollars, according to the variable definitions, and we would like to just find descriptive statistics for it, like the mean, median, standard deviation, min, max, and a few others. Okay, so go to the Data tab. Go to Data Analysis, and before we go any further, if you do not see your Data Analysis uh, tab here, you may have to add it in by going to the Excel, the Office button here, going to uh, Excel Options, going to Add-ins, going to Analysis Tool Pack, and saying Go, and then making sure that, that Analysis Tool Pack is checked here. If it's not checked, you need to check it. Okay, so we already do have the analysis package here, and we are going to make descriptive stats. So data, data analysis, descriptive stats, press OK. Now the input range is my price variable, and I want to include the price label. So I start highlighting, and then uh, if I want to jump all the way to the bottom, I can press Shift, Control, down arrow key and it brings me down to the bottom of the data. Check that box labels in the first row. Output range in a new worksheet, that's fine. And I want to see the summary statistics. Press OK. OK, this is what we got. Kind of looks like a mess. I'll stretch out column A here a little bit so we can see better what's going on. So we have a number of different statistics. The arithmetic average or the sample mean um, here's standard deviation telling us about spread. We've already seen these numbers before because when I made the table of prices by style, these are actually the numbers from the total row. Uh, here they're rounded to one decimal place. Okay, now I've already made a number of different sheets here. You might want to start keeping track of these sheets by renaming them. So down at the very bottom here, if you can see this, you can right click on the sheet and say rename and then I'll call this descriptive stats just to keep track of my sheets in the in my workbook okay this needs to be uh, edited somewhat some of these stats are merely uh, quick calculations from other stats for example range is max minus min so I don't really need to show range uh, variance is the square of standard deviation I don't really need to show that Kurtosis and skewness are somewhat obscure stats that a lot of people don't understand. I generally don't show that. Uh, and standard error is the standard deviation of y, this number, divided by the, sample, the square root of the sample size. So I'll get rid of that. Standard error of the mean. Okay, I'm going to click on the 2 in row 2, press on the control key, click on the 4, skip over to 8, 9, 10, 11, and 14, and then I right click on these selected cells and delete and they all get shifted out of there. I'm going to abbreviate standard deviation so that it's not such a large label. And I'm going to copy the price label over and then let's have a label for the all the statistics and call those statistic. And then let's format all these cells to like, uh, let's go two decimal places. And we know this is in thousands of dollars. Okay, and uh, there we go, descriptive stats for one numeric variable. That'll be it for this video, and in the next video, we'll sh I'll show you how to make a histogram for this price variable.